Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and today as you can tell, as you can see, I'm in my uniform so this video will be about my military career and experience, kind of just giving you guys insight. I won't make this a long blabber because, you know, not everyone wants to like see a very long video but I will kind of hit the key points uh, that a lot of people ask through messages and through comments and things like that so yes I am in the military I am in the Air Force but I do do makeup I do YouTube I do freelance for Mac and I do freelance for myself um, I've been in the military since 2007 I came in straight after high school I did have a scholarship to go to school um, to go to university. I was a 4.0 student, but I chose not to go because of the simple fact that I did not want to be a broke uh, a broke college student. And, you know, it was just a sacrifice that I had to make because in high school I was in ROTC and I liked, I loved the structure and the discipline that I got out of it. So I figured, well, if the military will pay for my schooling and they will pay, uh, pay me, and I, I can travel and I won't have any student loan or debt then why not go so my parents they're all up for it because I come from a military background so you know there were no negative um, thoughts or messages being put in my head about not going so I went in open general I went to basic as open general I wanted to go to uh, go into the military doing pharmacy because that's what I'm in school for but there were no no jobs available so my recruiter was just like go in as open general um, and then you can possibly get it if someone flunks out and that was their job then you can pick it up it didn't work out like that but I, it was cool because I got another medical job and how the biggest the most important thing about it was that I wanted a job that would be beneficial to me once I got out of the military because uh, I am in school for pharmacy. Uh, I'm moving kind of slow with it because I work full time, so I'm only going part time. But I'm, you know, I'm making progress, and I don't want to stay into the military and retire if I'm not an officer. So I want to get out of the military, become a pharmacist, and then come back in. But as an officer, um, I don't know. It's just something about me having that, like that power. I just really want to be a, a, a an officer. Um, I do not fly planes. I get that so much. Like, do you fly planes? No. Just because I'm in the Air Force, that does not mean that I fly planes. Okay? So that's, that's I don't fly planes. Um, I've been to Iraq. I went to Iraq in 2008. I worked as a TCN duty. I, well, I worked TCN duty, which is basically keeping an eye and looking after the third country, third national country workers um, that came to work for the Air Force Base and did work around the Air Force Base for money to provide for their families. So I did have to carry a loaded gun. Actually, sometimes I'll carry two, depending on which work site I was on. I carried an M16 and an M9, so I am qualified in shooting weapons. So, <laughs> and it's kind of funny, cause like I tell people that and they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I know how to shoot a gun. I know how to break a gun down, M16 down, M9 down, uh, clean it up, put it all back together. So yeah, that's my little secret. <laughs> I'm qualified with that but aside of that I do makeup I do YouTube I work for Mac as a freelancer uh, I work for myself as a, a freelance artist um, so yeah so I kind of dabble in a, a you know a little bit of everything I'm, I'm a well-rounded individual would I recommend going into the Air Force I will say that or the military at, in general I will say that to go into the military it takes a very strong person. Um, if you're really opinionated, if you're really kind of hard-headed, you would really have to suck up a lot. And I will say that the military is not for everybody. It's not. Um, some people look at it as a way to escape their problems. But if you're not willing to put forth that effort, if you're not willing to listen, if you're not willing to just suck certain things up, then it, you're not going to make it. I will say that, say that for my age group, for younger age groups, um, it is a beneficial. It is really beneficial because they take care of you. The economy is so bad right now that like I wouldn't even dare getting out of the military. Like I get BAH, they pay for my rent, I get my own personal salary, and I get money for groceries. Like if I get out of the military, 
yeah, I'll be working in the hospital, but my check, I'll have to pay my rent out of my check. Like, I got, I'm too comfortable with, with this. So I'm not, I'm not leaving. I'm very, and I'm getting my schooling done. I'm sorry. Like, you could say, oh, she may not know real responsibilities. No, I know responsibilities. I have bills, but they take care of you. Like, you're sacrificing your life for your country. Like, that's the least that they can do. But I work as a health service management apprentice technician. Um, I work, I, I've worked in different parts of the clinic. Um, I've worked in TRICARE, which is basically where we refer patients out to get uh, services rendered to them if we do not offer it within our clinic. Like if we don't offer any type of surgeries and things like that, we'll refer patients out. So I keep up with the referrals. Um, working in like family health care, you check patients in and out. Um, you dabble with their medical records, keeping track of paperwork, filing paperwork, uh, taking inventory of the medical records, making sure everything's in order. You can work in systems with computers. There's a lot of different things that you can do with being a health service management apprentice. Um, I only work Monday through Friday, off on the weekends. Um, with the exception of like going through inspections and, and things like that. Like sometimes we may have to work night shift and we may have to work 12 hours, but I'm so used to getting off and having off on the weekends that whenever, you know, every now and then I have to work a shift that I'm not used to, it's not really a big deal because it's only temporary. Some people feel like if you join the military that you're selling yourself, your soul to the government, that you don't have a life. That is a lie. Like, I know y'all see all my videos of me traveling, doing things. Like, no, they don't. Like, yes, you have to always be professional no matter where you go but you have a life set seven to four is my work time monday through friday when i get off i take this uniform off i have a normal life i come to my home that's it i do what i want as long as i show up to work the next morning on the weekends that's my i can go wherever i want within that eight hour radius or i have to take leave if i want to um you know travel away from the area um but that's it's my life i can do you know, I have a perfectly normal life. It's no different than someone that works in a courthouse that has to, you know, put on their uniform or someone that works in a dentist's office or someone that works at Walmart or McDonald's. You put on that uniform, you go to work, you get off, and it's game time. It's, it's, it's your free time. So I've been in going on five years. I really enjoyed my first two years was kind of rocky for me because I kind of had to adjust to being told what to do and my temper and my attitude, I kind of had to adjust. But... I've come a very long way. I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm in a new area. Um, I've, I've been through basic training in San Antonio, Texas. Then I went to um, Wichita Falls, Texas for tech school, which is where you learn about your job. And I was there for seven weeks. And then I went to South Carolina where, you know, that was where I worked and lived. And so I was there for four and a half years. And then I just recently moved to LA where I am now. And I've been here three months. So it's pretty cool. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, like I said, I won't make a career out of it if I have to stay enlisted. I'm on my second term right now. I sign uh, four-year contracts um, every so often. So, like, I finished one four-year contract. I'm on my second four-year contract. So 2015 will be the end of that. Depending on where I am with my education, uh, how close I am to pharmacy, that will determine if I'm getting out the military or coming back in. I mean, getting out of the military or staying in. Now, when I say getting out of the military, it's not permanent because I'm getting out at that time if I'm close to finishing and becoming a pharmacist, but I will be coming back in, but I'll be coming back in as an officer. Basic training was not too hard. It's all about, like, about mind games. Like, you have to know that they're being paid to be mean to you, basically. Because at, at, the, end of the, at the end of the day, they go home and they're having fun. They're having parties. They chilling drinking things like that but when they wake up in the morning they put their uniform on they put their hat on and it's it's game it's game time they have to be mean so i had i struggled with that a lot because they're like in your face they're like about to like touch your nose and they're throwing things you know not to not to hit you just to kind of like to scare you and some people are like oh no i know this person didn't do that like that's how that's what i would think in my mind like if he don't get out my face if he don't get out of my face. And like one time I actually like I cussed my TI out. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. I'm, I'm not proud of it, but I got picked on a lot. Like, cause I, I, I I'm like, I'm like, you know, I'm scrawny. So I'm like, get off of my case. Get off. 
And at one point I was like, you know what? I want to go to F home. Then he was like, like mocking me, like Trainee Living wants to go home, y'all. Things like that. And I'm like, yeah, send me home. Send me home. But my uh, brother flights, T.I. was like, you've come too far. You don't want to go. And I really didn't. I was just mad. But I'm glad I went through with it. I graduated and I am where I am now five years later almost so that's pretty cool so in basic like you get to choose 10 places that you you wouldn't mind living and you write it down on your dream sheet and you, you know they choose off of that so it's like if you get one of those 10 places you can't be mad because you wrote those 10 places down I always say only write five don't write the whole 10 because after number five, after state number 5 or after place number 5, whether you want to go overseas or not, you kind of just like picking random things. But I feel like the first 5 is where you really want to go. So only write 5 because once you start writing 10, you may get like choice number 9 and that's probably like, probably like a sucky place that you're just settling for and you just wrote it down. But um, I got Charleston, which was my um, number 1. So, it, you know, it was pretty cool. So you really have to have that craving for it. You have to want to do it and not be forced to do it. Because if you're forced to do it, it's not going to work for you. So, but um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions about my military life, go ahead and uh, put it below. And I'll make sure I answer those questions. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy it. Rate and subscribe.